prisoners as well. Two points here in the leadership ability. So we want to make sure his deflection is still on. We go for a pure old backstab here and take this guy for. His And we're going to move him back a bit, so hopefully the Rapist does not attack him when it comes to his turn. We want him to go after Pashtar there. Uh, and we're just going to go straight up attack here again. Nice critical hit, nice to see, but same thing. We're just going to go deflection, try and protect our two tanks. This guy's going to burn... himself. That hurt. He's going to come up here and take this guy prisoner. So there's our two prisoners. And he's going to throw another spear at this guy. Even a critical hit was only six. We like to see that. And now we don't have to worry so much about uh, taking prisoners anymore. We're just going to go straight DPS attacks. Well, he has vulnerability on him. This is going to be a critical hit. Ooh, yeah, kill animation. Love to see more of those too, actually. Love to see more kill animations in the game. I think they're great. Um, I think that'd be a fun little add-on to do. They're great when they're... On your team, they're not so great when they're when it's guys killing your guys. Oh, oh he's gonna shoot Carfaxius. Yeah. Not much this guy can do currently. These guys are gonna take care of him. These guys will take care of him. It's already burning. Which I Eight. Can we get him there? Maybe I, this is a little clean path over the rock. All right. He's gonna throw up the targeting. That is skill is the worst. I mean, people do so much DPS and attack time from that thing. I don't know. Kill this guy with ease. Then move up. Rapist hit for 13. Jesus. Living up to his namesake. Yeah, we're going to engage uh, here. Weaken so this guy does not continue to. And then throw on deflection. Just keep shopping down here. The DPS team is on the way. Oh, ouch. It's not that bad. I'm still... gonna shoot Carfaxius again. So much burn damage.
cool. That was really nice, because now we're going to get some attack of opportunities on everybody here. Oh, that was really nice. Well, that deserves it, for sure. Um, these two are just having to... Archer can just keep taking him off his attacks. Engaged yet, so we didn't get the backstab. Damn it, that was a mistake. Also, it's gonna be really hard for this guy not to. Uh... Well, it's okay, we're gonna. So we just got this one, one guy left to do. That guy! <laughs> Hammer we're never gonna use. Axe. Some wheat's not bad, especially if it came with salt. And Deegan leveled up at last. Jeebus, we've been waiting for this for a while. That's really interesting. Oof. Really, this is a hard one. I'm gonna go with. The first skill does 150% extra damage. That definitely is interesting. We're looking forward to see how that plays out. Um, let's rest. We have to feed these two people. We're lucky. Do we have any... Do we have enough salt for this? Do we have enough salt for two bread? We'll sausages for days. 53 wolf, sa wolf sausages. Um, you know what? A little, little, a little bit of food make everyone happy. You've reached access to black market. Fucking cool! I wonder what that means. Let's do a save. We shouldn't technically be wanted anymore. I don't know why these boars are still here. Oh, no. yes. All right. We've unlocked a lot of recipes, dude. <laughs> 200 thing now. I'll show you after the after this year, but uh, a fair bit. Um, and that, that's interesting, but I don't know what I'm going to buy with that knowledge point. Um, maybe Ether, which lets me... Or Pristine Ether, which lets me craft a bunch of other stuff in Alchemy. Um, heavy Armor, so I can start socketing stuff, is another thing that's very uh, attractive to me as well. So I got Dagger Dagger and... Spear Guy over here. Two shields, sword, shield, bow. Let's go. I feel like those two are actually going to be really good together. This car is our main dude. We're going to throw him right in the center. And then follow up with these guys. Yeah. 
put him up there. Sure. Let's get her done. This should do, in theory, 150% extra damage. <laughs> One shot at it. <laughs> yes, please. Ooh. Like that turn. Like that turn a lot. Actually, um, actually, I'm gonna go this way so that he gets the engagement point. Ooh, Pig's Bane. <laughs> That's cool. You, we got the wolf one before, which is a wolf tanner. Now he's got uh, pig's bane. It's interesting to have those character achievements. I really like that. And that they're hidden, so you can't like min max them if you don't know. Like, well, if he, this guy gets one, or they like they just happen organically. I really enjoy that too. hit what what was that what was that how did he get two attacks you got going on in that bow over there dude oh wow war bow all right all right we know what our next bow is that we want that's for damn sure Yeah, it's called the Warbow. It's the Warbow. That's why I don't know if you saw, or you're probably sorry, you're probably typing that in a, in a delay in chat. But yeah, uh, man, that thing is fucking cool. This guy's about to run halfway to Atlanta. Jesus Christ! What movement this dude got. And the throw dagger skill, chain abilities together like the spear and stuff, crazy. Like, limited attacks that guy just got for one valor. Oh, look, he got a crit hit there. Nice. Another easy kill. Trying to save on that armor damage too. Yeah, we'll let the rest of them flee. Oh, okay, thanks. Or I didn't. Uh, cool catch for me there. Appreciate that. Fish star level, getting a free attribute point. Nice. He gets two points if I go into movement. Sold me. You sold me. Needs two repair pieces. Arfaxius needs two repair pieces. Aegon, two. Everyone's probably two at this point, I'm guessing. Four. Jesus Christ. Here. We should get this quest. This is the one that bugged out on us last time. I also wish there was like a, a log where you could go back. Yeah, the last time I want to try to bring her back here, nothing happened. Mm. 
we're hoping that that does not happen this time. So we're, we're headed straight to the jail and find out if uh, we're going to have, we can get through this without being bugged. Oh, we have a, uh, I didn't learn endurance run yet. No, I learned long distance running, not endurance run. I don't really use that, run that often. For the money could be interesting. You get it after level four of crime, I think. We could learn one of the steel, sort of learn some of the steel recipes. That's gonna, those would be a serious DPS increase. The heavy armor is very attractive to me as well, considering what level stuff R is, but it's only level this would only be level two, I think. Also does not come with the little star thingy that says, hey, if you make this, you get a whole bunch of new things. We can learn grilled pork. We may have enough food to last us a lifetime. Pristine essence is what I was considering. We need it to make the strength oil and sharpening oil. Uh, never seen that part uh, ingredient before, though. I actually think we're just going to hang on to this one for now. I'm not really sure what we should do. I'm guessing it might be, have to be the steel weapons at some point in time, but I'm going to hold off. Wait, it's guards? Normally, people at the prison like that. More wolves. Sure. Thirteen of them. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wolf sausages for the rest of our life. like one of those fights where we just get started. might regret this, but I just love the value so much. But this is value. Wolf pet? Wolf pet. Come with me, Mr. Wolf. Okay. 
we'll be feeding him the, the meat from his dead dead pack because the bastards that we are but take him along for now it's free damage uh, absorption nothing else Hopefully we can get through this pretty quickly. I want to find out if the quest bug or anything else. <laughs> this way it's nice. We should be able to just chew them down one by one as they come in through this hallway here with uh, the team. Oh, damn it. Do not want to move this. Oh, well. That ability is just insane. Nice. The only way you can stockpile of <laughs> valor points is through that skill. Oh yeah. Let's do this. fun turn. Oh, I should have thrown the dagger first. He should be able to dip poison there and not hit our dude, which is nice. Yep. And now we're going to get a nice kill because this is going to cause them all to disengage. And then these two guys are going to both get two strikes. Yep. And then he throws the dagger on top of that. Not hear your teammate, you asshole. Thank God. <laughs> We've done that so many times with Archer, it drives me crazy. These guys moved up so we can take care of the rest of these wolves. Wish I had that leader's inspiration thing right now so I could <laughs> move it around this map. Unlock is uh, no. All right, this would be somewhat painless. Skill is broken. 
Oh my god. Glad we're about to win this fight. Fortunately, guys about to die. There we go. Gonna put us overweight. Damn it. Very close to the prison. Yes, we're going to drop the carcasses. They're worth nothing. No! 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 Carcass is on us? <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna... God, I wish that mechanic worked. The dungeons are full? Never saw that before. I level up our wolf, but I didn't know the dungeons could be full. When do they become unfull? Execute someone already. <laughs> um, didn't know if they could be full. This is a problem. <laughs> Dude, uh, uh, Kalania, um, actually, unfortunately, you were probably weren't watching when this happened. But uh, the game kind of bugged, and we got a bunch of suspicion just for using one of the mines, which we had used many times before. Um, it just all of a sudden said you were wanted and gave us 50 uh, suspicion out of nowhere. Uh, we've unfortunately encountered a couple... Yeah, we've encountered a couple game bugs today, or unfortunately already are. Uh, one of our guys, this guy here, was using uh, the two-handed sword that lets you run. Uh, he stopped, or something happened when he used one of the spears, which is like the... Uh, the the shrink weapons that you sometimes get in maps, and all of a sudden deleted his weapon and stuck him with that spear, which he can't equip, and that has no basic attack. So we had to go learn a new recipe, um, and then get back there, train uh, that, and then we have on our way back, we've been, and we've been literally trying to work this suspicion off uh, ever since then. Oh, we know what we, uh, we can do. We can go back to the prison. We're going to try to hang out here, wait for those guards to... Where are those guards? Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Painful to jail. So let's go. I, I, we haven't actually had this. Uh, yes, actually. Give me a second to figure out what's going on with my uh, my game here, and so we just recruited him back. All right, that wasn't the worst. Holy shit. Uh, you guys can't see this, but I have a giant like exit screen on my window right now. Um, yeah, the game just blew up uh, right down to desktop. Holy shit. Um, did not like that. Uh, Caitlin, so uh, stuff to make early on. Um, Torch, I recommend highly if you have any uh, rangers in your group. It's a goes into their offhand. It's an area arc swing, swing attack that uses no um, 
valor points and you just need grease to get it, which you can generally get off one of the animal fights. Um, you want to make uh, the rags and daggers and off axe if you have them as well. Because all of those recipes will help push your uh, knowledge score and help you get new recipes faster. Um, yeah. Other than that, it has a lot to do with Where, uh, what your class makeup is. Yeah, so the hand axe and hand dagger. Um, okay, so we're back here. That's interesting. Um, so I'm going to pause here to say the hand axe and the hand dagger are none of. I am not a, hu a huge fan of either of them. I have the incendiary flask, which you can make through your alchemist. Uh, I like this because it helps you control some of the flow of fight sometimes by putting it down to certain areas. Uh, NPCs will not always run through it and will go around it, so you can help you control some fights, which have been very helpful for things like the Ghost Swarm. The offhand dagger and the offhand axe don't do a ton of damage for the Valor point that they cost. But when you get higher level, uh, round level 5, and you get the ability to throw a dagger every time you use a skill, it's nice to have something that you can do that you don't necessarily have to uh, be right touching next to the guy for, so it's worth it. Um, and of the recipes that you get, um, it's of the type that will these two will actually have a little white star do it next to it. Um, like you'll see on my food recipe, I think, here. One of these, which means you're going to get knowledge experience for the first time you craft it. So even if you make one and sell it, you want to do that. So yeah, so there's a couple items that you want to make right away for the knowledge points. That would be um, the hand, the rags, the targ, the throwing dagger, and the throwing knife. All of these have knowledge points on it, so making one of them right off the bat to get the experience is really key. Um, especially because I find you, you want to get run, endurance training, and long distance running as fast as you can. Uh, these two are, lets you travel around a lot. I think these are like the first two main passives that you should get. Um, food recipes I have bought in a couple. As you can see, I have the eel, uh, grilled carp, and wolf sausages. Uh, I would not recommend buying grilled carp or boiled eel. And if your group is small um, and you don't want to have a spot for every profession, um, you may not want to uh, focus that much on fishing. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as well flushed out as some of the other um, crafting skills. Running is like super important, at least at level one. I don't know if you noticed what was just happening there, but that little green bar that came up, that's the only way you can avoid fights on the map, uh, other than hitting the little like give up symbol when you join the map. But the only way you can actually like, actively avoid an encounter or the conversation is having that ability, which you don't start off with, to sprint away from it. So getting that is can, early it can be pretty key as well. Um, other than that, what later on when you get some extra points in blacksmithing, which is... You want to maybe start getting the, uh, if you have geyser tanks, I recommend the shield uh, in a big way. Uh, the ability to get the skill protection, which provides the buff deflection, is huge. Uh, and you get that with any of the shields in the game. So I have a, two guys, so I made that right away. Uh, I bought a bunch of weapons, um, but one of the things you unlock uh, fairly quick... Okay, so you do not want to flip your professions uh, if you can avoid it. The second you take a, a skill off somebody, they lose all experience they've gained in it. It basically resets it. So you can't get anyone up to max level skills if you actually you keep flipping them around. You want to give someone a profession and basically keep that on them uh, and let them level it up all the way. And then they get all the passive buffs for that. You don't want to be hop swapping around. I made that mistake early on until I realized that's why my guys weren't uh, advancing in skills. Because it says the second you take it off, they lose all experience in it. Um, so I recommend that you uh, do that very on. And yeah, the target early. And this is the upgrade because it seems to go on the most people. The uh, point I was trying to get at, though, uh, sorry, is once you get to the trader's camp where you get to use these the fangs, you'll get layers. And layers are your, your socketed items, right? Now, armor that you craft, depending on how well you make the quality of it, will have socketed items on it. Yeah, you can uh, use the prisoners. Uh, 
You can use the prisoners as well. Um, but what I... Uh, so get the... I recommend maybe if you can avoid it, not buying some of the, we uh, the weapon recipes. Although once you buy one, you learn the steel upgrade down the road, which is uh, pretty big damage DPS, I'm guessing, when you make it. But uh, having some armor recipes will let you redo some of the stuff. Because again, I have like... 135 iron now, so I could I could afford to recraft a few things to try and get socketed spots on your armor to take advantage of the layers that you make later on, if you're really trying to boost your guys up. And yeah, you can use your prisoners for hot swapping um, if you need to. Uh, I have a party big enough that I have all the professions covered except one right now, which I haven't discovered yet. Uh, and I'm constantly taking these guys in and turning them in for their, for money to help pay for my, uh, my troop, uh, which is uh, how I've been able to maintain a good cash flow and pay my salary for my party on a regular basis is having two shackles on me and typically in kind of a fights taking two guys back and bringing them back for the 200 and 300 gold um, to uh, keep everyone paid. So let's uh, get this quest again now where they want us to go. Yeah, if you don't attract attention, I'm missing you from the Baron. We don't know who the Baron is. Uh, go to the jail, record Steptilia, and we'll get poisonous oil. Also, still, unfortunately, very wanted. We're going to try and go around the lake here, like we were doing before. Hopefully avoid much of trouble. We have eight carcasses on us. Try and remember to, to get... Actually, you know what? Fuck that. Just get rid of those. Yeah, dude, I, 100%. Yeah, for small squad, yeah, I could totally see what you're saying. If you're trying to keep your resource costs low um, as for, for your cost for like provision and wages, then yeah, prisoners is a good way to hot swap between things. Um, for example, yeah, we have to do this stupid... Actually, can we run away from this? can all right prisoners full but we need to recruit her so the quest is now moved back to here now the bug we had is that we weren't able to drop her off last time but that should make She's not in there anymore. You'd think that... Oh, oh yeah, we have to leave first. So going out and coming back in. She's no longer filling that spot. Nope. Still full. Won't take it. All right. It was just an NPC spot or whatever. Don't care. We. I'm worried about this group of guards right here. So. Damn. Ah! Forgot about the wolves. Oh, well, we got two extra people. Oh, you can't sell them later if you do that. That's interesting. I did not know that. I don't know if that's intended or not either. Because, like, when you release a prisoner, if you actually don't turn them in, if you just release them, they actually have a chance to willingly join your party as well, which is kind of neat. Yeah, leather is nice to have. You need to craft a bunch of stuff. You can also, you want to uh, hit up merchants every now and again, too. Uh, they'll randomly have it. Don't like both of those guys being there like that. Do that. Oh, I see. I, now, I'm sorry, I, understood, I misunderstood what you said, yeah. You train them all up, but then, then you accidentally sell them and you don't have that skill anymore, right? And you lose the profession. And you lose the profession. Yeah. Again, I, I've been using the prisoner strictly as a, a financial resource. I It says you're supposed to lose 20 suspicion when you hand somebody in, but it's never worked for me, so I'm assuming that's something that's uh, broken or has not been implemented yet. Or I'm misreading it wrong, but I feel like it says, like, negative 20 suspicion, so... 
Yeah, this two-handed sword is very satisfying. Um, this should just be a kill, right? Yeah. I liked the run one that lets you... Uh, the, the high mobility one a lot as well. I thought that one was really neat. But that's the one that bugged out on me then, so we don't have it anymore. Yeah, I haven't found all the professions yet, but again, we're still been kind of been like trying to 100% Tillerin yet. Um, so we have the Scholar, um, the Fisherman, the Blacksmith, the Miner, the Tinkerer, the Cook, and the Alchemist. Oh, this is, okay, this is not good at all. Uh, no, this is, this is really not good. Um, danger, Will Robinson, danger. Why is, he has no armor left and he's wounded. Oh, he's, yeah, okay. One of those guys has first aid up there, so we'll be able to keep him alive, thankfully. Oh, shit. We cannot let her die, either. Damn it. She's got three wolves, four wolves back there? No. Run away! Get Go help her! Help her! Was not paying, I not was not paying attention to that. That deserves it. Damn, many of them, Jeebus. Concerned about this guy, so let's get it dead. All right. Now let's get some serious value off this. Come on. Thought I would be able to hit both of them. Sadly, not. Need to keep her alive. This should. Now we're. Now we're doing okay. Now we're cooking with gas. You can just hang out here and not die. How about that? Well, the bleed on him actually is going to be a problem. We need to get someone with first aid over to him right away. Oh, he is a dead man. You do not have first aid. You do not have first aid. You do not have first aid. Oh my god. Here and he, oh, you have first aid. Okay, we can get to him before that turns out. That was nice. 
nice. Don't like those odds. Yeah, dude, do you mean uh, Mathis Lund or whatever? Because uh, that guy is insane. Um... Yeah, Mathis Lund, I thought that, you know, that that's one of, like, the funnier moments on stream. When I was, like, at the end of the night, okay, we're gonna end the night off and go fight this champion. And, like, it's just one guy? And it's just, like, well, look, there's five of us. We'll be chopping this guy down like a tree. Yeah. Uh, that guy's legendary hammer just knocked our guys around like ping pong balls. One-shotting us the entire time. We will be going back to see if we can beat that fight um, in the near future. Probably uh, before, uh, once we figure out uh, if our team is just dead. Alright, so this guy can save this guy's life. Yeah. <laughs> no dying for you. And this we should be getting, yeah, I was going to say. And... Alright, not overweight. Here. The fact that you're able to do it in level 2, I think, is fucking impressive as fuck. Want to avoid the ghost swarm? You know what I should have done is... No, we would have been overweight. Patience. Patience. Don't want those guards after us. Or those. The, you know what, again, if you just were to see a screenshot of this game and be like, oh, what are you, you see, you know, some basic sprites moving around here, a top-down view, uh, you kind of see, like, a fantasy landscape, um, you just don't get to appreciate the depth this game really has, like, being able to pitch in down and create your shortcut routes. Um, I know that one of our viewers, Opta, was saying that he found a secret in an area in the next, across the bridge here that you had to have a pit in to get to. We found another secret or some kind of thing over another area we can't even figure out how to get to yet. So you get to interact with the map. The stuff, the random things coming out of the forest is really neat. Um, yeah, it's just, I really do respect it. And again, for an early access game, um, it, the game has a s sweet ton of potential. And uh, I can just see, I constantly see where, you know, when I look at the roadmap, of where it's probably going to just get better. Um, and that's to me is very impressive because normally um, some of the systems aren't as well flushed out as you would normally think in an early access game. Um, of course, I play Escape from Tarkov, so that's been early access for about a thousand years. So hopefully, this game is not. But yeah, they have some great things done already, and I hope they continue to have this great stuff. Okay, please work. Oh, it's still busted. How much money do we have? We have enough. We're going to give this guy the 200 to put that quest on. He says he'll pay us when we get back. Yeah, see, this is... This is a problem we ran into earlier with this quest, unfortunately, chat, is... Um, it says to bring her back here. If we talk to her, she says, what are we waiting for? I'm not going to make a name for myself standing here. I think yeah, one of the quests was like show her the ropes, so I th maybe we have to level her up first, and then we can take her here. Um, you know, we can't we, we we don't get to interact with her at all. Um, which is interesting.
but yeah, according to the map, like we're supposed to, you know, take her to this border crossing. Yeah, <laughs> quest we have to think. That there's no quest log. You know, I can't even like, in this game. You can't even go back and see what these quests are. <laughs> there's, there's no like, uh, there's like, character sheets. It's the fact that like what armor these guys can wear, better remember it. <laughs> hey, weapons they can use, bo. <laughs> um, you know, this game that really like, like they want you to have like a notepad and pen with you. Okay, so. I'm going to hope the quest is not bugged and that we have to do something else with her before we bring her back here. Because when we recruited her, it immediately came back here and highlighted this um, to bring back here. But when we talk to the guy, it says the same thing. Now, again, we've had some bugs. It very well could be that this is one of them. And don't take too long. I'll be waiting for you. See, there's that's what kind of worries me the most. Um, we're going to give this guy our border pass so we can cross now. That we got from completing this area. And we're going to rest, which I think should put us, hopefully, being no longer wanted. Fingers crossed. An apple there. Apple a day. Whoa, shit. Oh, thank God. Dude, Orman told me how I'm, I'm, dude, I, I know I'm pronouncing your name wrong too. So let me just say, I'm very sorry about that. Um, but thank you for that. That's okay. That's interesting. Um, we'll definitely test that out. It's funny that we just became not wanted by the guards anymore. That's kind of hilarious. Um, No, what just happened there is, uh, as they were coming on, I had, it hadn't updated yet, but when we rest, it actually had put our wanted level below, uh, the guard aggressive mark, and it just hadn't, uh, updated with the thing and turned their color, uh, from red to green, but the game knew that they were no longer aggressive, so that's what I was flipping out, but they were never going to attack me, but I had a mini heart attack there. Uh, the joke is, it's uh, thank you for Ormhume here has just mentioned, that according to, uh, the game well, to love to finish her quest we need to kill some guards um which I, mean, I guess we just could have done there and tested out but uh thankfully guards are everywhere so it's not it's not something we can't test um my concern with that test is i think they would kick our ass because all our armors beat to shit so what we will do is um, speak to these guys. Get anything good for sale? They do. This spear is good, I know. I love this. Oh yeah, we're buying it. We're doing it. Do that, then close this window, then you can sell. That skill is really good. Pretty happy with that. So we're gonna go see if the prison is no longer full. And we can hand these guys. What was that? Oh, it's boars. God damn it. Ran into the ran into the fucking cliff edge. I was trying to avoid him. All right, fight some boars. Let's fight some boars. Smoke some bongs and repair our fucking armor. Ooh. No, don't do it. 
I want to keep her alive. So throw her up over here. Try and consolidate as much as we can. That does not mean leaving our bowmen down here by herself. Oh, she this map's huge. Um, do, do, do. actually, even though Deegan's got no armor, he hits like a fucking tank. So do that. Are there? Is there a guy going second? All right. Let's get into it. Just thinking about where I want to position him there. He's gonna open with weekend and clicked a little too fast. Of course, they all now gain fury. It's not fun. Yeah, let's put on deflection. Protection here. That should, uh, hopefully somebody will come at him. These guys got fucking a, a mile of run, run away, so that's fine. Okay. Our axe guy is going to uh, kill, I guess, this one. Yeah. That ability he got to kill, uh, 150% damage for the first it's digging around. It's just crazy. Can't wait to get those on some more people. I'm trying to multitask here while we're getting attacked by Boris Pack and a Bull. Bull packed. Alright. And let's keep protection up because he's gonna get he's gonna get attacked there. Just so everyone knows, I do stream about five or six days a week, sometimes twice a day. We do kind of do a day stream, uh, then we take a couple hours break, and then do the, the late night owl stream. And we generally stream a variety of games. We've been playing a lot of turn-based combat ones like this. Uh, we just finished a playthrough of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, you can find those playthroughs on our YouTube channel. Slash uh, exclamation mark YouTube. But, uh... You ever want to come and see us play more games? Hit that follow button. We're uh, trying to get some of our Twitch unlocks done, and uh, every little bit helps, but just love having you here anyways. It means a lot. Yeah, baby! Aw, oh, man, thanks. Thank you, uh, Kalania, for the... I hope I pronounced your name right there, but welcome to the Night Owls. Thanks for the follow. Very much appreciated. No, no, much love, much love. We'll do one of those things, right? There we go. Oh, this skill. Then we're waiting to use this. <laughs> that just feels good. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. That's why I saw that spear. I'm like, oh, I want that. <laughs> So we're looking at the, the so we're looking for the war bow, which has a similar thing to it for archery, and that I've, that was definitely a cool attack. Don't hit my teammate! Don't hit the teammate! Good girl, thank God. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nice. All right, this is going relatively smooth. I'll thank. Okay, she blocked. Uh, This is gonna be 
do love multi hits. Oh, yeah. 